So in the previous video, I talked you through the process of account creation. In that video, I showed you how to set up PDF sharing website accounts through the Backlink Beast tool. Now the next video, I want to talk to you through the process of actually submitting content through a social network to get backlinks. Now in order to do that, again, like I talked about in the previous video, you first must have accounts on those social networks. So I'm going to again open up an account creation project. So you could do it through here, go to account creation, or you could go to an existing account creation project. So if I have an account already created with the PDF sharing sites, so if I double click that, it opens up the ones that I already have set up. You can see here's my PDF sharing website accounts. Here's my usernames and passwords. I don't have to set up unique account creation projects to keep adding more to this profile. So under sample profile, I currently have 13 website accounts already set up. If I just want to add social networks to this existing profile, I can click on social networks and I can get a whole bunch of them. Now if I don't want to do all of the social networks, which I'm not going to do here, I'm just going to click on 15. So I pick 15 as social networks listed here. Now I'm going to add these networks to my sample profile. Make sure you have your project profile listed here. And What I'm going to do is I want to start the account creation project for these. I already have my disposable email selected here. So when I go to create accounts, this is as simple as just going back up and hitting the create account start button here. So I'll hit start and this is going to go through and it's going to set up the accounts for the social networks which I don't currently have accounts on. So I'll give it a second, see it's opening up the browsers for these now. So again, remembering like I said before, if you have decapture or death by captcha, this process will be done for you. If you do not, you have to manually type these in. So I'm going to do this real quick while this gets set up and then I'll show you the endpoint in a second. So we've gone through the process and we've set up the, the, the social network websites that I talked about a minute ago. You can see from this list that I've actually tried to submit 15 and I've had one, two, three, four of them not work. Now, I want to talk through the process of this happening, right? This is something that will happen. Within this tool, there's going to be a lot of websites. These website lists will be updated on a fairly regular basis. You will not always get submissions to go through. This can happen for a number of reasons. The website can be down. There can be some kind of bug on the registration process. It doesn't push the capture through. There's millions of reasons why this happens. The most important thing is to absolutely not dwell on this and just move on to the next thing. This is a backlink tool and this is a numbers game. So if you get red X's, meaning that those submissions did not go through, that does not stop you at all. So go ahead, just keep moving on with your submission. So we have some social network sites set up in our sample profile. So now we can go through the process of actually submitting content to a social network. So I'll close this here and I'm going to go new submission social network. So you can see here it says type social network and we can rename this to be social network submission. So you can see I have my project here. I'll double click on this. Now again you want to do sample profile and you want to select from the websites that we currently have accounts on. You can individually go through and select the ones that you have accounts for, the ones that will show usernames and passwords, or you can actually go through the process of hitting all sites, unsubmitted sites, submitted sites, or failed sites. If you push one that does not have a username or password associated with it, it is not an issue. Backlink Beast will actually just pass that. The only thing that it's going to do is add a little bit of time to your submission. So if you don't want to go through and uncheck the ones that didn't work or uncheck the ones that you haven't actually set up accounts for, then that's fine. You don't need to do that. So once we have our site submitted, you want to go to Submit Information. This is where you're actually going to put the content together that you want to submit to these social networks. This is a really simple process. If you ever used a, uh, a spinner, an article spinner tool, something like, um, something like any of the article spinner networks that were out there, then you're already going to be familiar with this. So I'm going to go to eZine Articles and I'm going to go and select the word golf and let's see, leading five golf gifts for men. So I'm just going to grab an article right here. So I'm going to copy that. So I have my content here. I'm going to paste it in. I'll put in my title 
and then I'll put in a couple of keywords and you can put in up to three keywords here and then we are basically ready to go. Now here's where we're going to start to customize this. So we're putting in a gar an article about golf gifts. Now you can see that it says plus spin here. This is where you can actually start to spin your keywords to get more mileage from your existing content. Now if you've ever used an article spinner before, this is a really simple process in Backlink Beast. The syntax requires the use of these brackets right here. So I put in a bracket and let's say I want to spin the word golf gifts. So I put in the bracket, then I put in a spacer, and I want to put in golf, let's say, items, or golf toys. So here I've set up leading golf gifts, golf item, golf toys for men. So I have three separate terms there. So if I hit preview, you can see lead gol leading golf items for men. I hit preview again, leading golf toys for men, and I hit preview again, leading golf gifts for men. So I've spun these three terms right there. Really simple to do. You can actually even spin your keywords here. So if you wanted to spin this one, you could actually do the same exact one. I'm just going to copy this right here just for the sake of demonstration. Preview, you can see men's golf gifts golf toys. So the spin syntax is really, really simple to use. You can use it all through the entire article as well. So if you wanted to spin a brand new golf club, let's just say you wanted to spin that to say five iron or pitching wedge, then it's as simple as just adding that on there. So again, you get it preview, brand new pitching wedge brand new golf club. So spinning terms is really, really simple. Now the last piece that you need to make sure that you add is your actual URL. So to add a URL, you only have to know a few simple things from HTML. So let's say my keyword is golf clubs. Now if I have a website, I'm just going to say golf.com, use a simple syntax. This is the same syntax that you use for any, H, uh, any uh, URL in HTML. So I do a href equals quotes http colon slash slash www dot golf site dot com quotes and then another bracket so this is the actual website piece right here so if you want to send golf clubs to any website then I need to add that and then backslash a right there so there's a URL now I'm going to show you that in the preview there's my URL, golf clubs. So if I want to get a backlink for the word golf clubs on this social network list that I have here, then I simply add that syntax. So you can see ahref equals quotes entire URL golf clubs and then a. Now I can actually even spin my anchor text here by using the same exact syntax, the bracket, the line, and then say golf sleeves, right? So then I'm spinning my anchor text. You can see if I do one preview, it says golf gloves. If I do another preview, it says golf sleeves. So I can even spin my anchor text here. So here's an example of putting some content together. I've spun my title, spun my keywords. I've added a URL, which is super important. Make sure you add a URL. And in most cases, I would suggest people add more than one URL. So I can add in another one here and I usually add in one example that has an actual keyword in it and then another example that has my actual URL in it so I'll have simply visit blah 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 golfsite.com for more information so then when I preview you can see there's my first URL there's my second URL golfsite.com for more information this keeps me safer for Google so I'm not embedding anchor text for every single URL that I've used and I'm also varying my anchor text with the actual uh, spin tags right there so I'm all set here so I have my article ready here I have all my spin tags I have my URLs I have my accounts all set up but I need to do one more thing before I can go so I have my profile set up but then there's this other box here that says project URL now it says social URLs, but I want to show you how we do that. So when we're on this page, 
you have the option to say new and then URL list. Well, that creates what's called a URL list. Now what this is going to do, it's going to populate your submissions for you. So I have social URLs here. There's nothing here. Okay, There's not supposed to be anything here. Don't worry about that. So what we do is go back to your project, social network submission, double click on it. So we have this in place. We have this in place. We have our profile set up. Let's add our social URLs link. And I'm going to hit submit. Now once I start this, this is actually going to submit this content to those websites as soon as this starts going. So this is the process where I'm actually creating backlinks for myself. Backlink Beast is actually going out, going to each website, logging in, and submitting the information that we just created. So once this is done, I'll get a verification, and then we'll go back and take a look at it. Okay, so now I've got my finished message. So basically what Backlink, does, Backlink Beast has done, it's gone through, it's done each one of these submissions for me. Here's my, actual, here's my actual submit information that I sent out, and then we're good to go. So if I go through and I look at my URLs, you can see here's the ones that were submitted right away. Again, more is better. So if I go to this actual URL, You can see this is the one that I just typed up, leading golf items for men. There's one URL, there's the other URL, and then that's as good as done. So basically this is a rinse and repeat process. This is something that you do in a very small scale in a demonstration like this, but when you go through and you actually do this for yourself, think about the numbers of backlinks that you can build out through an automated tool like this just like that. So just by setting up an account, submitting some information, and hitting go, it's actually going to go out and create those backlinks for you. So in the next video, we'll talk about the next aspect of the submission process using Web 2.0 profiles.